your jester hat, you're gonna need three balloons. This is a really colorful hat. It looks, looks great at events. Not that hard to make, it only takes three balloons and it has a little flexibility for fitting people. But it's fun because of those little end uh, things that you have. So inflate your balloons, leaving quite a bit of uninflated end. Here I've got at least uh, four or five inches here. It's nice to get them as close as possible, but don't worry too much about it. You have some leeway uh, towards the end. So you're gonna do the same thing with each balloon. You're going to create um, a big basic twist and a pinch twist. So let's do that with one here. Now with practice, you'll get kind of a distance that you'll use as your basic distance. Uh, usually I go somewhere about here. So um, what is that? It's a little over a foot. And then I pinch and twist, pinch, twist. Notice I'm holding on the left hand here. So if I didn't hold, it would come undone. Now watch my left hand creep over and hold. We're gonna make a small basic twist here. Now we made the basic twist, but what we really want is a pinch twist right here. So fold hold with the left hand. Now you're going to make a pinch twist. You're gonna grab this, pull up, and then twist it. So here we go. Up, twist. And you're essentially making an L here. And then we're gonna repeat this with all three balloons. So let's do that. Try and match the distance so it's right about there. Small basic twist. Turn it into a pinch twist. Balloon number two and number three. We'll just go right through that. Now we have three of these balloons. And what you're going to do is take the nozzle of one balloon and put the nozzle into the twist here with the pinch, pinch twist. And we're gonna do that with all three balloons so they're all attached to each other. Nozzle goes into the pinch twist of the next balloon. So nozzle into the pinch twist of the next balloon. And finally the nozzle here into the pinch twist here. And you'll have a triangle. And nice if it's uh, pretty even. I guess you call that an isosceles triangle, if I remember back from geometry way back. Now we're going to take these three balloons and we're going to twist them together to form the top of the hat. Gather the balloons together, just like this. Now, uh, you'll notice that my green balloon is quite a bit longer than my other ones, but I still have some leeway here. So uh, let me show you what I'm going to do. So let's just uh, put these guys together and twist them together. Here we go. One big twist. Just like that. The Jester's hat has these tassels, so we're gonna make tassels for each one here. And again, my green one is bigger, my orange one is shorter, but that's okay. So we're gonna take the yellow here, because it's not as crucial for the center part to be even. You just want the tassels to be fairly even. So take 
Make a basic twist here and then squeeze this to the end of the balloon. And that gives you your jester tassel. Do the same thing with the, with the second one. And finally the last one. Make this one a little bigger to accommodate the longer balloon. See what I mean about some of the flexibility you have. And that. You could give the hat out just like this, but what I like to do is to bend each one of these uh, to kind of give it an angle down, and that's where you really get the leeway. So let's do that. See how it gives it that kind of look here? And there you have a jester hat. Very colorful, be popular at parties and events. People will proudly wear them around. <laughs>